Well, voters in Brownsville also gearing up to pick new commissioners, and tonight they got a chance to hear directly from those candidates. And even though immigration is a federal problem, it is playing a part in the upcoming elections. Here's Channel 5's Rudy Mideles. In the first of a two-night forum hosted by Frontera Progressives, candidates running for District 4 Commissioner in Brownsville laid out their thoughts on everything, including the city's involvement with aiding migrants, security for those living and visiting downtown, and even the future of economic development in the city. While both saw eye to eye on a few of the issues, such as the possible donation from SpaceX not being a problem that could lead to the gentrification of those living in Brownsville, there were some distinct differences between incumbent Ben Neese and one of his three challengers, Beto Velez, the city's involvement in aiding migrants at the top of that list. Velez saying the city should focus its resources for those living in Brownsville. We don't have the infrastructure. We don't have the funding. We don't have a plan. Uh, then I don't think it's a re the responsibility of the city. Me nice saying, well, that is the optimal route, the reality is different. Even though it is the federal government's ultimate responsibility, we can't ignore it, okay? And unfortunately, our state and our federal government are at odds and they're trying to play one-upsmanship. In addition to current issues dominating national headlines, the city's economic development was also on tonight's agenda. Nice saying both small and big business have a spot in Brownsville. We can't just rely on developing local. We need to go global. I mean, we're now a spaceport. We're, we're looking at a global level, and, and we have been global in the past. Velez arguing that the city should drill down its focus on mom-and-pop businesses before reaching outside the area. For over 20 years and bringing large corporations to our city, and uh, a lot of times the problem with that is that as easy as they come, uh, as easy as they can just turn around and leave and uh, because they really don't have any roots in our city. Tomorrow, three candidates, one from the District 3 race and two from the at-large position B race, including incumbent Dr. Rose Gowan, will participate in the forum. We'll continue to follow these forums and keep you updated. In Brownsville, Rudy Mideles, Channel 5 News at 10.